Hi, welcome to This Is My Architecture. I'm Abhishek Mahanti from AWS, and with me today I have Sudipta Banerjee from Airtel Wink. Welcome, Sudipta. Thank you, uh, Abhishek, for having me. Well, it's a pleasure. So, Sudipta, tell us a bit about Airtel Wink. Well, Airtel Wink, uh, we are part of Airtel, and we really started as the innovation uh, lab for Airtel for about three years back. And uh, now we evolved into uh, the content and apps business of Airtel, where uh, we handle about 50 million monthly active users between our uh, Wink Music and Airtel TV. Uh, so just to give you a sense of the way we are scaling up is that we launched Airtel TV uh, uh, in the month of November last year. And by the time it was March 18, we were running a monthly active user base of uh, 25 million users on Airtel TV. All right, uh, so that has been fascinating. And as you know that I think sports uh, is a big video use case in this country. And we have had like very good outcome and we could scale very uh, widely during the India-South Africa cricket tournament. Oh, wow, cricket. I mean, that's a religion in this part of the world. Absolutely. Right? Uh, you know, plenty of viewers. So tell us some of the challenges you faced in your architecture journey. Absolutely. So, uh, I mean, just to give you a sense, and you, you probably are, will be aware than, uh, more than anybody else, that uh, streaming is a big use case which needs to be scaled up well uh, uh, while supporting a live cricketing tournament. Absolutely. Right? And we have been focusing on that. And in our mind, we have been able to streamline that uh, with a bunch of interventions, right? But beyond cricket, uh, there are things which are uh, which we are delving into, uh, and I'll, I'll give you an interesting use case. So last week we launched a game called Atel uh, Free Hit, right? You know what it does is like it's it's a play on. So while the match is going on live, you could play along with the players, and that's where the free hit word is. Wow, that sounds really interesting, and that's what we're going to talk about today. Absolutely. So take us through what's happening under the hood. Absolutely. So if you, if you look at the game, as I told you, that it is play, play along, right? So when the match starts, uh, you essentially start predicting about what's going to be the outcome uh, uh, out of the specific over, uh, of the uh, specific inning or the match itself, yeah. right? So it's a developing game which uh, essentially comes alive uh, uh, right uh, before the match starts on uh, on tre uh, TV or streaming platforms, right? right? So the way we, we, we have designed the architecture for this is essentially there are two parts. Like one is the gaming metadata part, uh, which, which is this pipeline where you see a uh, CMS, yeah and you essentially see an S3 and then CloudFront, right? And then all the way to the user, right? Now, th what this pipeline does is, on the other side of the pipeline where you have the CMS, uh, typically we have our ops people mm -hmm. who are looking at the TV screen and uh, as in when the match is happening, so they create the questions yeah. and then they close those questions, okay. right? And uh, as they uh, close the questions, the information basically travels through, uh, of course, S3 and then CloudFront. Uh, and just to let you know, that on S3, we are essentially storing the whole metadata per match in the format of a JSON. All right. right. So your game is basically right here. Yeah, my, uh, our game is basically a JSON file. Right? Wow, that's an interesting case of CloudFront. <laughs> right. And, and yeah, I mean, which essentially gets developed. I mean, the JSON basically bloats up as, as in the match progresses. Right. Right? But just to answer that question of yours, where uh, once the question is asked, and then uh, the ops guy essentially enters the answer, the answer basically flows through this pipeline into the app. Okay. Right? Now, the app has a logic built in where it can tabulate your response mm -hmm. uh, to the answer that came from the ops guy and allocate points, okay. right? And that's very important, All right? right? Uh, because uh, you, you can make money out of this game, oh, okay. right? So the point needs to travel all the way to the user DV, All right. right? So essentially, the app has a mechanism where it submits the points to the API, which is nothing but a uh, you know API uh, endpoint hosted behind the ELB, right? And then it gets submitted to this queue, eventually getting written into our DynamoDB, right? Wow. Now, 
uh, so so yeah, I mean. So I see, uh, I see you're using Marathon and Mesos here. So I'm assuming, you know, given the scale at which you're getting requests, uh, this is really significant. So tell us how you're handling scale at this layer. Absolutely. So, uh, so what we have been able to do is uh, we are running Marathon orchestration and on top of which we are able to run Dockers. Okay. And these Dockers essentially can scale up and scale down based on the volume of requests mm -hmm. the ELB essentially receives. Yeah. So we are talking about a scale where the concurrency can go anywhere up to 5 million. Right? Wow. So you need plenty of nodes in this right. particular cluster. Absolutely. <laughs> But and I see uh, you're using Spot here. Yeah. Right? So tell I us mean, how we are much... saving a lot of cost uh, by using Spot, of course. Oh, okay. Uh, we almost save, I mean, roughly about 70, 75 percent of That's the fantastic. total cost of running the, the infrastructure just by using Spot. That's right? fantastic. Yeah. Uh, tell me a bit about uh, the user repository. I see you're using DAX here as well. Uh, yeah, ab absolutely. So I think the DynamoDB was a choice for us because of two reasons. Mm -hmm. One was the performance aspect of it. Yeah. That means whatever we, we would build will be played by a lot of people concurrently. So we needed something that scales up seamlessly, uh, yeah. well yeah. and seamlessly. Yeah. Right? The second part was it, uh, we built the whole application uh, over a period of 15 days, yeah. right? That's phenomenal. And uh, to be able to do that, we needed a short learning curve database which will just scale phenomenally yeah. right from a read and write perspective so we right now we have been able to do a uh, uh, hundred thousand writes per second kind of a wow. uh, scale right and reads of course are many folds uh, because the way the logic is written right and that's exactly where the DAX come in because once I turn on the DAX on top of my uh, DynamoDB data model, yeah. it kind of caches and you know kind of uh, uh, scales up the rate yeah. throughput yeah, yeah, yeah. significantly, right? Fantastic. Uh, tell me a bit about the reward engine. This looks interesting. Yeah. So the re reward is the key part of the game, right? Where when you come to the Airtel free hit, you make some money, yeah. right? W once you have answered the questions right, yeah. right? Reward engine kind of takes care of that. It has an integ uh, interesting integration with the CMS. Right? Essentially, all the life cycles of the match are defined on CMS by the ops guy again. Okay. Like when the first innings ends, uh, CMS sends a trigger. And by that time, we need to decide the winner of the first innings. Right? So it sends a trigger to the uh, reward engine here. Yeah, yeah. And that essentially goes all the way to DynamoDB. Okay. And it comes back. Reward engine essentially populates the winners and communicate that user back to the app, Fantastic. right? And from the app, then user can start redeeming their points. And when I say redeeming, they can basically redeem the point, uh, equivalent amount, which is in rupee value, into their mobile wallets. This is this is really really interesting. I mean, uh, I mean, uh, you know, what's next? I mean, how do you see this architecture evolve to the next level? Well, to start with, I think we would like to uh, build this particular platform as a generic play-along platform. Not just for cricket alone. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So for any li live event, right? That's uh, great. And there are a whole bunch of live events happening all the time across the year. So we would like to get to a point where we are able to use this particular engine or framework yeah. to be and able to kind of support yeah. any of those. Oh, this is, this is really great. Thank you very much for sharing your architecture with us. You're most all welcome. Right, right. And thank you for watching This Is My Architecture.